and i am here today to show you guys how to work the new mock-up that was requested this was something i made by special request but because of a second special request i'm making this available and this is the bulletproof vest mock-up so i'm gonna go ahead and once you receive the file you download it you open it up it'll come to the screen again this just has some tips and different things like uh that you can use in order to make your experience better with the mock-ups you will not get a heather um layer blend mode on here because it obviously doesn't need heather uh so we're gonna go ahead and jump right in so i turn that layer off and then you'll come actually to this folder closed up and you will end up with the front mock-up here as you see and if you just got the basic layer you will not have this multi-color um folder here so if you just got the basic version you will just be able to change the color of your vest in here as such to whatever color you want and again you can always go inside of the shadows and turn down and off based off the color you picked so let's say if i wanted to make this uh let me pick a color that didn't really come out right it works really well on all colors but let me see pick a color that maybe didn't come out the way that i wanted it to so let's say we wanted to turn down some stuff on this green Basically, we could go in and say, hmm, uh, uh, these black shadows look too hard. Let me cut this down. Let me adjust the opacity and go from there as far as that goes. So, again, that's always an option. But what I really want to get in, uh, because that's some of the basics, I wanted to get in and show you guys the multicolor uh, function here. And what's going to happen is there is a front and back to this, but I'm just going to show you this on the front. So if you select the multicolor option, what you'll end up getting is five for the front. There are five different sections that you can adjust the top straps, the front chest, uh, the top panel. And actually, let me reorder this. The top panel, the front chest, the lower body and the lower body strap, the lower strap here. So we're going to go in and adjust each one of these and see what we can do with it so we're gonna make the top panel white like such sorry the top straps we're gonna make those white hide that we're gonna open up and we're going to make the uh, front top panel which is this top panel here we're gonna make that let's go with the gray let's see here well now let's make it black so let's make it black then we're gonna go with the front chest player panel here. We're gonna go with a, let's go with a, a royal. All right, the bottom strap, the lower body front, which is this border around the outside that you'll see change. Let's go with a white there as well. And we're gonna go with a red here. And again, you could always go in and change the color of this. I just like it. It just looks better with the black, which is 25, 25, 25. It looks better there. Um, and then if you wanted to go in and play around, again, you could cut off the, you know, the mannequin here and just have it be the vest. I like it with the mannequin. And if we wanted to play around again, we could go ahead and we could change the color of this to, let's say, a red as well. All right, so now we got like a red, white, and blue type of deal here. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much that. So if you had something that you want to drop in, um, like you've seen with the camo, let me go grab something and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm back. So if you wanted to create something like what I created with the camo, I'm going to do a simulation of that. So we're going to start with the top straps, and I'm just going to drag in my uh textures so the first one is a snake print and i'm just going to drop that inside of here and as you can see it takes on that effect so i'm just going to resize it and inside this folder here i'm just going to make it adjust to whatever size i feel comfortable with move it around get some white in there so now we got our top straps covered now we're going to go with our front panel here this top panel and for that, 
we're going to drag in our zebra print so actually let me not do that let me go here and I'm just gonna drag in my zebra print for that all right and I will make sure it goes inside that folder here boom and it'll automatically adjust it to how I need it and I'm gonna resize it and turn it kind of actually I like it here all right so now we got our zebra print up in there and I'm also gonna copy that down to the uh, strap here so I'm gonna look for my strap folder which is here and I'm gonna drag that zebra print into here now, when I dragged it, you notice it didn't show up. Ooh. When I dragged it into that folder, it didn't show up. And that's because I need to drag it down over top of where I need it to be at. Okay. So let's close both of those up. We got our zebra. Let me move this one around a little bit. Make it look a little bit uh, different than over up at the top. So now we got our snake print tops. And now the last things that we need to do are this chest panel. And for the chest panel, we're going to go with the leopard kind of print that I just grabbed. Boom. Really don't like it that way. All right. Let's see here. Let me resize it however we see fit here. Okay. Boom. And then we're going to also do the lower body. Boom. And we're going to drag that down like that. Actually, what I could do is even better probably is I can drag the snakeskin print down here into the lower body. Bow. And then bring this down here. All right, so that kind of gives you the effect of what you guys seen in that digit in the camo mockup. As you can see, how easy it was to create this in here. And again, that was the front, and you can pretty much do the same exact thing with the back, except for on the back, there's only three panels, and that's the top straps here, which is very small, the top panel, and the whole back panel because there's no back strap, and you can go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial um, and this is now available in two versions, a simple version uh, and then the advanced version over on Mockup Capital. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace.